What's up, YouTube? It's Little Two Techaholics. Back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to cast your screen to your Xbox One, but this time with audio. What's up, YouTube? It's Little Two Techaholics. Back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stream your screen on your Android device to your Xbox One. So let's get it in. <laughs> Let's get it in. Alright, so as y'all could tell, you see my screen from my phone is actually running on my Xbox One. Right? You see everything's the same. Right? I was just playing the video at the beginning, as y'all could tell. You see, I was running the YouTube app straight from my phone. So let me show y'all how to get this working, all right? All right, so as you could tell um, on here, you see where it says wireless display right there? That's the app that you're gonna look for. So y'all wanna go right here to the Microsoft Store. And y'all want to go over to where it says search. Or no, actually y'all don't wanna go to search, my bad. My bad, I mean, y'all could do it through search. I don't know if it's gonna pop up, but the easiest way to actually find this is you wanna go to apps and you wanna scroll down to where it says new apps. Go right here to show all. Then you wanna scroll down until you see where it says, um, it says the cast, screencast right here, wireless display. All right, so it should be like, I don't even know. I think that it says number 49. No, never mind. Now that's how many likes that I got, my bad. All right, so you wanna go ahead and you wanna click on it and then download it. Obviously I have it downloaded or installed. So on that side, um, after it gets done downloading, you wanna just go ahead and launch it. And you'll get this where it says ready to connect wirelessly. All right, so on your device, you wanna make sure that you do have casting enabled on your device because some phones may not come with it. My phone comes with it because it's a Galaxy S9 Plus. So on my device, I'm going to go ahead and slide down the top, slide it down one more time, and then go over to where it says Smart View. This is the same uh, application that I was using in my last video that I posted today. Um, about how to cast the screen to your uh, Android radio. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out. If you have an Android radio or if you feel like you want to upgrade to an Android radio, that's a really, really good thing to do because then now you can be able to screencast your phone straight to it and it comes with audio and all that. So whenever you go into this screen view app or a smart view, I'm so sorry, You'll see where it says Xbox One. Just go ahead and click on it right there. And you'll see that it will cast straight to it. And you can be able to do anything that you want to on this. So you can be able to play emulators. You can be able to play everything that you want to with the audio enabled. So now you actually don't have to do it the other way that I did it. Um, because that way you had to use a Bluetooth speaker or anything else, but this actually streams it straight to your TV. So let me go ahead and let me show y'all with uh, one of my YouTube videos. So as you can tell, you know, YouTube's working perfectly fine. There's, um, let me go ahead and let me play like whatever video. I'll go ahead and click on the one that I just YouTube's uploaded today. Back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all. So you see how it's playing audio straight through it. So if you wanted to play like an emulator or let's say that you wanted to play, um, you know, like what, what, whatever the case is, uh, any app basically that runs on your phone will run on this. So let me find Mobdro. I like using this one because it actually works really good. Play Family Guy. And I believe, yes, it does work 
like that. So if I turn my volume up and my volume down, it'll actually run hey, on Griffin, the Xbox One. Right, so that's really cool. So like I said, you'll be able to play emulators. Let me go ahead and let me find my emulator application. Let me go ahead and run that real quick. To show y'all that this does work. So we'll play, um, let me see. Oh, there's a couple people who are asking me about games, like if I could be able to play Scarfish. Yes, I can. It's actually running right here. And I don't know where the other one's at. Uh, there's God Hand right here. I know a couple of people were asking me um, in the comments and stuff on the the video that I did for this uh, application. I know I know that y'all were asking me a couple of things about it. Um, I would cover it in this video, but I don't want it to be too long. But you see right here on this uh, selection where it says BIOS, you want to make sure that you find where your BIOS is. Mine just so happens to be in my SD card with my games. Um, and as you can tell, there's uh, the one that I have selected right here. That one's the one that I feel like is the best uh, bio, if you would say. But I do have a couple more that I will go through in another video and show y'all that. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up a game for y'all real quick. I like Spyro. So we'll just go ahead and we'll play that. And this does run very quick because it is on the 5G network. So if you do have something that is running on a 2G network, uh, which is like the basic, you know, you might run into a little bit of lagging. Uh, this, it does lag sometimes a little bit. You can't expect for it to be perfect because, you know, it is casting the screen. But it does play very well, though. So that is a big plus whenever it comes to this. So I haven't personally uh, found any lagging in this. But whenever I did have it connected to my my Android TV box, I did notice some lagging. But that's probably because it was a little bit older. You know, it's a little bit older device and it doesn't run on 5G network. So Xbox is made to run all this stuff, so it, it should run fine. So you can tell everything's running perfectly fine. Another cool thing about this is you can obviously watch movies. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that real quick just to show y'all that the movies do work. Let me see what app do I want to use. Let me use Cinema HD. See if that'll work. So it basically is making this year Xbox um, the Android TV box, if you would say. It's basically everything that you can do on my other video that I did, but now it's a dated to where you'll be able to actually get all the audio to run through to your TV, so you don't have to worry about anything else so let's go ahead and let's find something I'll go to a TV show say arrow we'll just play it straight from the application All right, so you see, can't play too much of it, but as you can tell, the audio is running through now and everything works pretty well. Um, but if you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment selection. As always, you know, I'll write back to you and I'll help you as much as I can. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe.